If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith and grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. All right, good God's morning to each and every one of you all. I pray all is well with you this morning, that you are having a beautiful Tuesday morning, for it is another day the Lord has made, and we will, we shall, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Good God's morning to each and every one of you all. Amen. Y'all say good morning to the First Lady. Good God's morning to each and every one of you all. Let us get our scripture for this Tuesday morning. Another day the Lord has made, and we will, come on, say it with me, we shall, we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Our scripture, beloved, is going to be coming from Galatians chapter 6, verse 8. Galatians chapter 6, verse 8 from the NIV version, and it reads like this. It says, the one who sows to please his sinful nature from that nature will reap destruction the one who sows to please the spirit from the spirit will reap eternal life let me say that again the one who sows to please his sinful nature will reap destruction the one who sows to please the spirit from the spirit will reap eternal life Beloved, question to you today is, what are you sowing? What are you feeding? What are you <sighs> sowing into? Because remember, remember, what you sow, you shall reap. That's, that's, that's just common law. Whatever you sow, whatever you're going to reap. Whatever you plant is surely going to grow. So what are you sowing into your spirit? Or what are you sowing into your sinful, into your nature? Okay? Your nature or your spirit? Are you are you 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 worrying about and you filling your cup up with, with, with sinful things and and you know, I mean you, 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 or are you trying to fill your spirit and and sow that of the spirit and beloved in order to sow of the spirit we've got to reap and eat those things of the spirit read the word of god sometimes we got to fast we got to pray we got to put away those things because some of those things that we're carrying with us every day some of those things that we are indulging in every day are satisfying to the sinful nature, the nature of man and not the spirit of man. That's why we fast, because we wean ourselves away from the nature, the sinful nature, and feed the spirit. Sometimes the spirit be starving because we don't get enough nutrition, we don't get enough throughout the time, and we need to just stop and go on a fast. And that's why the word says some things come by fasting and praying. We've got to fill our spiritual tank. Because we feed, if you want to be honest or not, every day we are feeding the sinful nature. And it could be unaware, watching TV, listening to the radio, you know, indulging in conversations with other people, you know, um, just in general talk. Um, you know, we're feeding that sinful nature. In order to speak, feed the spirit, to sow in the spirit, beloved, we've got to get into our word. We've got to be praying. We've got to be get to a place where we're fasting and we're seeking God, feeding that spirit. Because whatever you feed the most will exempt it will exemplify. It will show. So what are you feeding? 
feeding your sinful nature? Or are you feeding the spirit? Beloved, get in your spirit. Get into a place where you just feed on the spirit. For some of us, we may need to go on a fast. And we just feed on the spirit. Reading our word. Praying. You know, fasting. Listening to, to that which is, you know, gospel music, you know. I mean, just feeding our spirit. Get to a place where we feed more the spirit and we suffocate the sinful nature of ourselves. Look around. See what your fruit, your fruit is. If you want to know what your, your spiritual um, odometer is reading, look around. Look around. See what the fruit of your 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 nature is. See what the fruit that you're producing. See what that fruit is. If it's more of, you know, the the, the, the nat natural, the nature, then you need to pull back a little bit and feed the spirit. If you've got fruits of the spirit that you're seeing, patience, love, joy, peace, and sometimes we get out of whack, and it's okay. We just got to learn when I'm out of whack, pull myself back in. Lord, bring me closer back to you. Lord, get me back in line with you. Lord, cleanse me. Lord, purify me. Lord, will me back. Will me back, Jesus. So, again, what are you sowing? What are you sowing? What are you feeding yourselves? Come on, let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this word this morning. Thank you for the reminder, God, that whatever we sow, it shall come to pass. And so, Lord, help us to feed our spirit more than we feed our nature. God, so that we will reap the harvest of the spirit and not the harvest of nature, of our sinful nature. Because, God, we know that our, there's nothing good within our sinful nature. There's nothing good. And as your word said, sin for nature, it leads to destruction. And God, we don't want to reap destruction, but we want to reap that which is pure, that which of the spirit, that which is of eternal life. Because that is what we're working for, eternal life. So God, thank you for this reminder. Thank you this morning. And God, help us to get back on track with feeding our spirit and not our sinful nature. We thank you, oh God. We ask your blessing upon us as we endeavor to do your will this day, as we seek to feed our spirit. God, open the door. Talk to us. Walk with us. God, bring us closer to you. As you said, as we draw now unto you, you would draw now unto us. And we thank you and we give you glory and honor. It is in Jesus' name we pray. The people of God said, Amen. Amen and amen. All right, beloved. Take some time to feed your spirit today. All right, take some time. Don't ever get too busy where you can't feed the spirit. All right, feed your spirit. Feed your spirit. That is what's keeping us alive and well. Not just alive, but alive and well. So take time today to feed your spirit. All right? Good guys, morning to each and every one of you all. We'll see you all tomorrow for another good God's morning moment. All right? Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful day. And we will see you all tomorrow for another good God's morning episode. Good guys, morning to each and every one of you all. Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful day. All right? Remember, take some time today to feed your spirit. Get your Bible. Read the Word of God. Listen to, 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 to some inspiration. You know, those of you at work, at your desk, pull up something on YouTube. And you, I mean, watch some old sermons that your pastor has been giving. You haven't watched Sunday service? Go watch Sunday service. Feed your spirit, beloved. Feed your spirit. Take a break from that which is pleasurable. Because what is it pleasurable to your flesh or to your spirit? Good God's morning to each and every one of y'all. 
Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful day. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Same time, same place for another Good God's Morning moment. Good God's Morning to you. If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning.